So you want to become a software engineer. Great. You basically have two choices. Either you lock yourself in a cave and solve 900 lead code problems until your eyeballs melt while hoping the interviewer gives you a problem amongst the 900 you had solved or just build a project. You know, like yet another to-do app that nobody will use, but at least it looks good on your resume. So this brings us to the age-old question, should I grind lead code or build projects? The internet has been debating this longer than people have been debating tabs versus spaces. And spoiler, you're all still wrong. So alright, let's calm down and actually answer this. Because the truth is, it depends. And before you click away thinking this is another one of those it depends answers, listen, I'm gonna break this down. We will cover three things. What lead code actually gives you, what projects actually give you, and how to not waste your time doing only one like a brainless bot. So okay, let's start with lead code. So one thing to remember is, lead code on its own won't make you a good developer. It just makes you good at lead code. It's pretty much like practicing pickup lines in the mirror but never talking to an actual human. So what's the point of this torture then? Well, there are a few benefits. Some of them being pattern recognition. Basically, the same problems repeat with slightly different patterns. And this gives you expertise and in-depth knowledge about a specific algorithm or pattern and how to solve problems around it. Lead code also gives you speed. You learn to solve problems faster, which is useful in whiteboard interviews. And it's also useful in gaining the skill to quickly read any code and understand it faster, even a code base. And lead code also gives you confidence. Because once you've solved enough, you stop panicking when you see a tough problem. Now let's talk about building real projects. See, the thing with projects is that projects are what make you actually useful. You learn how stuff connects. Databases, APIs, front-end, back-end, basically all the parts of software that real people actually use. You also create proof. Recruiters love to see something tangible. They don't want to hear you can solve an O and login problem if you can't even build a login form. And you also practice collaboration. Basically, unless your career goal is to sit in a cave alone writing binary search functions, you will need to work with humans. I know that sucks, right? But it is what it is. So projects show that you can ship things, which, spoiler alert, is like the whole point of being a developer. And once you join a company, despite of giving lead code based interviews or not, you will require the knowledge gained from building projects to survive in a company. And also, building good projects gives you great opportunities at startups, even good ones. A lot of them only really care about your dev skills and not your lead code problem solving skill. So, which one should you do? If your goal is to get hired at a big tech company, yeah, then you need lead code. Those companies don't care about your weather app 7.0, they just want to know if you can reverse a link list faster than that chad sitting next to you. But if your goal is to actually become a decent developer, then projects matter a lot. They teach you real-world skills, give you portfolio material, and help you not sound like a robot in interviews. So if I had to wrap up, then basically, if you're early stage, then do more projects. Learn how to actually build things. But if you're in the job hunting season, then grind lead code since a lot of companies do have lead code based problem solving, at least in their initial screening rounds. But the best case would be to do both. But don't burn out. You don't need to solve 500 problems, do like 150 to 200 of the common ones and then ship some projects. Now that combo is deadly. So should you grind lead code or build projects? The answer is yes, do both or do neither. Honestly, just become a TikTok influencer. It pays more. But if you're stubborn and still want to be a developer, then remember, lead code makes you hireable while projects make you useful. And together, they make you the ultimate weapon until AI replaces you anyway. So thanks for watching. I'm off to abandon yet another side project. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and solve at least one lead code problem before you sleep tonight because your competition already did three of them. Alright, peace.